Gemini, you need to know this right now for August the 26th through August the 27th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for August the 26th through August the 27th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for August the 26th through August the 27th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for August the 26th through August the 27th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Gemini, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Gemini, these are your cards, honey. So, Gemini, you have the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, brand new, passionate beginnings. So, Gemini, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Gemini. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Gemini, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument over finances here and someone's trying to apologize. You can tell me that you guys broke up over a heated discussion or argument, someone's trying to apologize. You can tell me that you guys broke up because we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love with, a, with someone else starting a passionate new beginning. I hope we're not finding out that children are involved here. It could be some type of argument over finances for children. You could also tell me that yes, you guys broke up, but someone's apologizing and you're starting this passionate new beginning. Gemini, you have the five of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Gemini, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Clarify the five of wands for Gemini. Clarify the five of wands. For Gemini, clarify the five of wands. For Gemini, it is clarified with the eight of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. 
So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're walking away detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Now, Gemini, you can tell me that you're walking away because you guys had some type of heated discussion or argument, some type of drama here. However, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about returning because they could be apologizing here. Huh. Gemini, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. Brand new practical beginnings. So listen, Gemini, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more, someone else giving to two. And Gemini, you very well could be receiving something here. Did you guys argue over money, the coins here, and now they're apologizing? Could also tell me that they were expecting you to give them something here, and it caused the argument could also tell me that someone accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone else, giving more, someone else giving to two, because we found these love messages and heard the news of them sharing love, starting a passionate new beginning somewhere. Gemini, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Gemini, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. You know, Gemini, you can tell me that you guys are starting new, okay? Savaging you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Because there is an apology here. You can tell me that there's some type of blessing, money, assets, resources, property. I don't know if this is cause. Well, I feel like it may have caused the argument, but I could also feel like someone is maybe coming in trying to uh, rectify this. Okay. Could also tell me that in you guys' already established commitment, someone had new love. They were giving more someone else giving to two. Hmm. Gemini, you have the seven of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. 
So Gemini, you can tell me that you're standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with this person. Or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Clarify the seven of wands for Gemini. Clarify the seven of wands for Gemini. Clarify the seven of wands for Gemini. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Gemini, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment for Gemini. Clarify judgment. For Gemini, clarified judgment. For Gemini, it is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Gemini, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Gemini, you can tell me that you're passing your own final verdict and judgment here, that maybe you need to be defensive concerning your coins, because it could have been an argument over the coins here. You could also tell me that you're making a judgment or decision concerning coins, but you're setting some type of boundaries here. Because like I said, someone could be expecting you to give something here, or they may be giving you something here, okay? And you don't want any strings attached. You could also tell me that you're using your intuition and searching your emotions concerning whether or not you want to forgive them and give them a second chance. Like I said, they could be apologizing here. You may feel like should you decide to forgive them and give them a second chance, you're going to set some type of boundaries going forward. We're going to take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner, Gemini. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I hurt the one person who had my back, and it is killing me inside. I hurt the one person who had my back, and it is killing me inside. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Gemini. And it says, so many things remind me of you. So many things remind me of you. Gemini, you need to know this right now for August the 26th through August the 27th. 2024 you guys give me feedback subscribe like comment and share and follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next week peace